Guys, here it is. No teasing, no joking, no anything. This is the greatest collection I've ever bought. All right, guys, so I get the call from uh, an older gentleman. He says, I, have, I, I hear you buy comic books. I have uh, in a collection I'm looking to sell. I need to move. I'm in an apartment. And um, I just, I need them moved. And we're talking about dates. No, no, I need, I need you to come sooner than that. Because this is a little bit of a drive for me. I said, all right, I make plans. Um, and we're talking, we're on the phone for about an hour. He tells me uh, he's a collector or, a re you know, he's a reader. He, he's read all these comic books over the years. He's 60 something years old. It's all original. 90%, he says, 90% is mine off the rack, 10% or so was bought at comic shops and shows and whatnot. All right. I hear this stuff all the time, okay? All the time. You know, the one thing that kept me a little interested is he's a little bit older, so he may actually have the books he says. I said, okay, well, how many books are we talking about? What do you, what do you have? You know, how many boxes? He, call, he, say, he tells me, I have 60 long boxes, and I have a stack of boxes in the corner of my apartment. Like, all right, I know what 60 long boxes looks like. It's, it's a lot. And he's in an apartment. I said, all right, you know, what's your best book? Just to gauge what we're talking about. I said, what's your best book? What's your best book in, in your collection? And he tells me, and I say, okay, now you've got, now you've piqued my interest. And now we're on the phone for an hour going back, talking about artists, talking about writers, some of our favorite stories, some of our favorite characters. So he's a real fan. He's a real reader, a real collector. He loves the stuff. He just has to get rid of it because he's moving. So I, uh, I call my cousin because going through 60 boxes does take a long time. Uh, he meets me there and we start looking. Oh, I'm, I'm jumping ahead. The guy sends me some text messages of pictures of the boxes, almost as confirmation. I didn't even ask for it. He just wanted to send it to me. And I'm like, okay, we got something here. All right, we got something here. So I get down there and it's exactly like he said, there's boxes everywhere. There's one entire wall in his dining room area. It's two boxes deep, all right? Doesn't sound like a lot. Floor to ceiling, uh, three sections, which, so you're looking at, you know, one, one set of two, floor to ceiling, one set of two, floor to ceiling, and another set of two, floor to ceiling. Not counting all the boxes in another corner of his room and all the brown boxes, almost like, I don't wanna say like copier, copy paper boxes, they were smaller than that, but uh, just boxes and boxes and boxes. And I said, this is, let's see if he's as genuine and serious as, as you know, the quantity's there. But I've, let me tell you, I've bought a collection of 60 long boxes before right out of a storage unit from a collector and it was nothing but 80s and 90s and 2000s, which was upsetting. The price was, was right, but it was still, it was like, you hear this and that was an older collector too, a big Neil Adams fan. Nothing in there was Neil Adams, nothing. 60 long boxes, so I, which I think, I don't know if I have a video of that, but anyway, okay. Me and my cousin start looking through stuff and a lot of modern stuff. And before you know it, we're starting to hit some older stuff and we're starting to hit some older stuff. And, and just, just, uh, just watch this. Like I said, I bought a lot of comics. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> There's a lot here. I started, and I don't have many left of the 10 cent comics. And I got upset as a kid that it went up 12 cents. I, hey. <laughs> if I had known then that it'd go up to 4 to $7 a book now. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to be in the kitchen if you need me. All right, no problem. A few Journey into Mystery books here, which is actually the collection, the run I'm putting together. Some Thor rolls into Thor. This is actually the first first time it changed over from Journey into Mystery to Thor. Some Silver Surfer. And 
in a couple other boxes we still have to look through. Oh, Guys, the deal has been done. Everything came home. Well, actually, a third of it went to my grandmother's house. But two-thirds of it came here. Uh, we just unloaded my cousin's car, and now we have all of this. Um, real happy. We're going to be going over everything over the next few weeks, few videos. There's a lot of stuff here to talk about. Okay, this is easily the worst. This is the worst part. This is it. All right, guys. So we just finished unloading. Man, a lot of stuff here, all this. So you're looking at 35 long boxes. All this, whatever the hell this makes up. And we still have another 24 I have to pick up. Oh, there's some short boxes in the back too. All right, guys, just picked up the third batch. This is it. Next stop is home, and one last shot of the garage with everything stacked up. All right, guys, so I just got home, and I finished unloading. Final count, ready? 59 long boxes, all right? No bags or boards, packed in there tight. All these brown boxes. And what you don't see behind all this is 10 short boxes. And I opened a box. I just happened to open a box and flip through really quick. Came across a couple of keys. First and second appearance of Shang-Chi. Looks pretty good. One of the only books that was actually bagged. Not boarded. All right. So finally it's home. One last shot of it. It's just a wall. So that's everything. We got everything home. I was able to bring two SUV full of stuff home from his house. And then the next day after work, I ran down and picked up the rest uh, from my grandmother's house. Everything's here. I started going through it. I'm not done yet. Okay. This takes a long time because as I'm going through it, I'm trying to organize, you know, you have your $2 filler books, you have your crap books, you have all your, uh, your five dollar and up books you have your silver and bronze fillers so I, there's just so not to mention the keys there's just so much work here to do um and that was just the, the videos you just saw is literally just scratching the surface again the greatest collection i've ever bought not only in quantity but in value everything had everything um so that's going to be the end of this video but i wanted you i wanted to set you guys up for the future videos so what i'm going to end up doing and Tell me what your ideas, please, in the comments. Let me know if you like this or not. But I'm going to do follow-up videos to this collection and just go over titles. For instance, I'm going to say, okay, here's all the Batman keys that came out of here. And I'm not, I'm not going to go through the $10 and $20 books. I'm going big books that came out of here. Here's all the Superman. Here's all the Green Lantern. Here's all the Spider-Man. Here's all the Daredevil. Here's all the X-Men. Okay, so those are like the follow-up videos I wanted to do. Um, if there's not a lot of keys, I'll probably do, you know, here's uh, Daredevil and Punisher, you, you know, a block of Marvel stuff, or, or here's all some 70s keys, you know, here's like a Nova 1 or a Miss Marvel 1, something like that, She-Hulk, that's the 80s, but you know, stuff like that, kind of group things together because, I mean, I, there's a lot, okay, there's a lot to go through. Um, again, let me know in the comments if you like that idea because that's what I was thinking for follow-up videos to this and what that's also going to do is allow me time to go through the stuff. It's going to allow me time to send stuff out to CGC because these are going to be great CGC unboxings when you start seeing some of the stuff that's coming out of here. And I haven't, again, I haven't even finished it and I already have a massive amount of stuff uh, worthy of going to CGC. All right, so please, guys, like, hit the con hit that thumbs up. Uh, I want your advice. I want your opinions on follow-up videos to this one. Um, feel free to share this video because uh, this was a big one. This is a doozy. And the more, there's more to come after this, all right? So thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you later.